All right, fellas, back out here in the shop, working on drag car, show you some progress. I know it probably looks the same, doesn't it? But uh, got the main power rider ran, we got the uh, coil ran, and uh, grounded the uh, body. This has got to get screwed back up here. Grounded the battery to the body and to the engine. Eh, well, I'll get that later. It goes there. And right here's the ground. All cleaned up and shiny. Ran straight to the battery. This is my ground side, my positive side. And I'll show you on the inside that it works. The only problem is, don't have a starter that's good enough to turn it over with. Uh, maybe if I can get in here. Uh, all right, flip this up, flip this up, and then you press the start button. But starter's not strong enough in order to turn this engine over. And the starter started smoking a little bit ago when I was trying. So, but these two are all hooked up and working good. I just gotta get a starter, a high torque starter. And uh, that's what I got for you guys. All right, fellas, we got some parts and I built myself a dry shaft. Right there's my dry shaft. Should be the right length, I haven't tested it yet, but I plan on it. I ended up uh, cutting and welding it together to make it the right length for my measurements. And got the U-joints on. Tried to clean up this nozzle as best I can. It was covered in rust and there still feels some roughness around it and cleaned out the inside and stuff that was all rust using a wire brush I stuck down inside there. And I used a wire brush on the outside, but it just, the rust just did not want to all come off, which is possible. It could make the transmission leak, but we'll see. It's only a temporary dry shaft anyways. I won't actually race with this dry shaft. <clears throat> this is just to get it moving under its own power. And as for parts, well, let me see here. This is something that I knew I was probably going to have to get. Sorry. Ah. My hands just ain't what they used to be. Ah, there it is. High torque starter. Billet aluminum. Should be good. There she is, there's that starter. It is a pretty looking starter, I tell you that. Howdy y'all. Just giving you a little update. Got the dry shaft built. I put it inside the car. And uh, it's all bolted on, all the bolts are there. It's doing good. I got the... Uh, throttle cable hooked up but I don't have the throttle pedal hooked up yet so I still got to hook up the throttle pedal inside it's laying over there in that box a mess disaster that I got to clean up I poured a little gas in the top of the carburetor and it fired didn't start but it fired so that was a good sign um, means I got the coil hooked up right uh, I could be out of time. I know the timing chain, the double roller timing set is all hooked up correctly. I know that's correct. Both dots facing each other, straight at each other. It's easy to set that. I just may have dropped the distributor in in the wrong place or whatnot because I don't have a little thing that bolts on down there. Bolts on, I think, to these two bolts right here this one and this one right here 
and it has a little thing that comes out and points here and I don't have that I can't seem to find it I need to look around better try to find it then once I do I can put set the timing a lot easier I just guessed where I thought it was supposed to be I brought the number one up top dead center on a compression stroke and uh, 10 degrees was pointing uh, right here like at this bolt that I got marked with the yellow marker and that's where I set it in at 10 degrees so we'll have between 10 and 12 and uh, when I'm turning it over and firing it blowing fire and right out the exhaust literally <laughs> so I admit it could be that the uh, lifters aren't adjusted correctly yet which they probably aren't I mean, I thought I got them right. I uh, turned the engine over till I got it in the right spot. That was where I believe is the right spot. And then uh, tightened it down to where it was just touching and then gave it an extra half a turn on each one of them on both sides. So if I did that correctly, if I had them in the right spot, then that, those should be fine. But I know some of the some of the uh, uh, lifters weren't pumped up, so that could also be part of the problems. Might need to be cranked a bit. Some of them were pumped up, some of them weren't. They were used lifters out of a 289 uh, that I dropped in this 302. They're roller lifters. That's why I put them in here and I had them. Um, so it may just take a little bit of time to get those pumped up and working right, being cranked enough times, or it could be that I drop the distributor in the wrong spot, which is most likely the problem. Most likely that's it. Uh, yeah, I got, I mean, we're making progress and we're getting close to being able to actually start it, which is nice. Um, the coil's all hooked up, the push button for the starter's all hooked up and works great. Um, yeah, I'll show you. Oh, it may even give it a little backfire out the exhaust too as I'm turning it over. Give it a couple sprays. There we go. And uh, if I can hold this out here. Oh, crap, I can't quite reach. Hold on. Let's see. There we go. I don't know if you can see through there, but I'm getting my fingers all set up, get it turned on. See? <laughs> Threw some flames out there. And probably the two squirts of gas I just put in there is out now. I really gotta wait till I get my fuel system hooked up. And I'm just waiting in, on the packages in the mail, parts to come in. So you've seen the starter, I got the starter on. And I got the dry shaft on, I think I have it in park. It's either in park or it's in first gear. So, and there's no transmission fluid in it, so it's not gonna take off when I, if it does fire up. So that's where we're at right now, fellas. I'll go ahead and I'm gonna get this uploaded in here. Uh, I'm gonna finish this video off just so you guys have an update, get this uploaded to you. And I'm um, gonna keep at this. Y'all have a good one. Build some more out. All right, I did just figure something out. I've been in the house doing some research and I came back out here and I dropped the piston in at 10 degrees right here which would be nine o'clock and they're telling me that the pointer points at 10 o'clock so i'm a couple of teeth off on the distributor where i dropped it in for number one so i need to get my uh, number one piston back up on tdc which is on the passenger side here in the front and uh, get it pointed back to, to 10 degrees here at just underneath this bolt so i'll probably be doing that tomorrow 
back, I'm back in the house now and I'll show you uh, what I found here. So Jegs has a 69 to 84 uh, pointer factory style for 302, 351 and that's a 71 block. So and that's where the pointer is supposed to be pointing at. And I have it pointed right here at this. And it's supposed to be up here. I think it's this one, not that one. I think I use this little hole. To check the timing. Heck, I, I'm not sure how that type of a pointer works. Let me click on a different picture of it. Yeah, what do you use? Do you use the little hole? Or do you use this? Or do you use that to set the time? If it's the little hole like I think it is, well then, that's up here just underneath that bolt. That top bolt like I thought. And I put it, I set TDCs right here when I drop the piston in or drop the distributor in I'm sorry so I'm thinking that's what I'm gonna have to do is uh, get to reset the timing and drop the distributor back in again uh, I guess I'm smoking my uh, uh, but that's what I'm looking at I'm not gonna get a pointer because the timing cover that I got is an 88 timing cover uh, and that's not well I don't know you know what maybe we look that up maybe I'll find a I'll find a timing pointer for an 88 but if it's in a different location then it ain't gonna matter so I guess we'll see all right have a good one y'all all right, I did figure it out as to where you're supposed to check the timing from. Let me look to show you this picture. It's actually right here at this point, right here, that you're supposed to be checking the timing from. All right, so that's what I got to do. Uh, so I got to have my 14, 12, well, it says that the actual timing is 10 degrees, but you know, a little more performance, you can bump it up to 14, and that's what I'm gonna set, start it at is 14. If I need to go a little more, I will, but tomorrow, we're gonna get on that.